Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you, you know that I am obsessed with miles per gallon and fuel economy. And today's video is no exception because we're going to be conducting some tests to see which one is more economical. My BMW 1160, my work wagon, or the magnificent M140i. Obviously, you may be thinking that it's already a foregone conclusion that the diesel will win, which might possibly be the case. But there is no mistaking that the engine in the M140i, the B58, is also incredibly efficient. So even if the diesel does win, it will be interesting to see how close they are in terms of fuel economy. So how is the test going to work? Um, so both cars will do the exact same journey, the exact same distance, the exact same speed, um, in the exact same driving style. Uh, so the test will be as fair and as reliable as possible. Both cars will do the exact same thing. Um, the journey will be about 50 miles, uh, mainly dual carriageway and motorway. Um, and then some of it will also be a bit of town and city driving. Um, um, I will go to the petrol station. I'll fill up and brim it completely. So we've got a full tank. Um, I'll do the 50 miles and then I'll return to the petrol station. I'll fill up and then we'll gather our results. But before we get this started, I just want to know what my viewers um, have as a daily or what car do you have and what miles per gallon do you get out of economical driving right so we are currently sat in the bmw 116d but let's drive the interesting car first and let's do the test in the bmw 140i so i'll see you later on okay we've just filled up it's going to zero the tank now and now we've got zero miles and we're going to do the journey now so guys you now join me on the dual carriageway i've literally just filled up and i think this is going to be a really really interesting video um because obviously the m140 is actually the flagship model of the F20, F21, one series range. And then the car I'll be testing tomorrow, my BMW 116D, that is basically right at the bottom. Um, that's the entry level car, so to speak. Obviously they did do a 114D and a 114i, but they discontinued that within like a year or two into production because I don't think it was a worthwhile engine. It was probably 200 powered. So, yeah, relatively speaking, the 1160 is probably the entry level uh, engine and car of the F20, F21 range, so to speak. So, it's going to be really interesting to compare because obviously the nature of this engine, the highest performing engine, it should be terrible. It should, the, the diesel 1160 should absolutely blitz this in terms of economy. But because the M140 is actually Got the, uh, it's got the B58 engine, which is actually <laughs> relatively good on the fuel. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the stats of the car. The BMW M140i has the brilliant B58 engine, which is a straight six turbocharged unit. Puts out about 340 horsepower and about 500 newton meters of torque. Um, and yeah, it's also got the ZF 8 speed gearbox, which is absolutely fantastic, cruising eighth gear obviously at 70 miles an hour and cruise control and I'm doing 1700 rpm so the car is literally probably just sipping on the fuel. Another funny um, statistic about the M140 I compared to the 160 it literally has three times the power of my BMW 160 which I just think is quite funny really and I think that might play an advantage in this test because probably leave that for tomorrow's um, test run I'll explain a bit more about it. Anyway guys I think I've run out of things to really talk about um, I've just got a really boring drive now to do and complete um, so the next time we'll probably speak or see each other is at the fuel station when I fill it back up again and we'll um, see what we get but I might leave those results for tomorrow. Okay we've just completed our journey of 48.8 miles um, and I guess I'll fill it up and share the results with you tomorrow and as you can see the needle has hardly moved so shouldn't be much to fill the swim 140i up as you can see i just filled up and it cost me 11 pounds and five pence and it was 6.39 liters to do that whole 48.8 miles Okay guys, you now join me at the petrol station. Today we are in the 1160 and we're going to find out 
how economical the Mormon 60 is. So I'm just gonna fill up and then I'll show you when I've zeroed the uh, counter and then we'll go from there. Okay, as you can see, we've got a full tank now, so let's zero the trip and embark our journey. So guys, you know, join me in the BMW 160. I've just filled up and now we're on our boring journey. Um, we've already actually faced some challenges this car struggles with, which are hills. Um, this car, you really do have to like, make sure every gear change matters. Like you gotta really make sure in the correct gear. Whereas the M140, it just, it doesn't really care what gear, gear it's in. It will just literally get up any hill because it's got so much torque. Whereas this car, is, it is a bit of a struggle. So it's gonna be really interesting to see like how both compare because this is down on power. Like, well, I explained yesterday, it's got, the M140's got three times the horsepower, which I know isn't everything because obviously torque is a big thing as well, but it's three times the horsepower and the car probably weighs, I'm gonna guess probably the same. So it really is gonna be interesting to see like how they both will fare in terms of economy because this car you do really have to extract its power to get the car moving whereas the M140 you just give it a tow of um, throttle and it's, it's off so yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see which is more important a very economical efficient diesel engine as they so say they are or a high performance um, engine that the M140i has speaking of engines what have we got under the bonnet so we have the N47 engine which is a four-cylinder turbocharged diesel unit I think it puts around 115 horsepower and 260 newton meters of torque. This N47 engine is actually found in the 118D and the 120D. I'm not sure if it's also in the 123D, but it is definitely in the 120D, which is it's basically the same engine, but they detunes the 116D, so it's got only got like 115 horsepower, as opposed to its 180 or 190 horsepower. And I think that might be its downfall. Well, I'm just thinking, if it had the full potential and the full power, would this car be more economical? Because you really do have to extract all of its power to get the car moving. Whereas if it did have the full 190 horsepower, it wouldn't have to like break its back so much to get it moving. So I'm just really wondering, would this car actually benefit more from a tune to get it back up to 190 horsepower? The only reason I haven't tuned my car is because, well, it, it, it raises my insurance up um, and my insurance, the company would actually allow it because it's such a massive increase of power. It must be like 60%. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I haven't got this um, tuned. So. And I've got power anyway in my other car, so I'm not really missing out. Another thing we could state is that we also have a six-speed manual gearbox, whereas the M140 had a um, ZF eight-speed gearbox. Obviously, the ZF eight-speed gearbox is, is smooth and seamless with its gear changes, whereas a manual gearbox, as much as you can be like as efficient as possible with the, the manual gearbox, it's never going to be as efficient as an automatic box, especially the ZF eight-speed gearbox. That's for sure. I'm going to try and do this car proud by getting a decent MPG return but I do think it's lack of power and it being a manual gearbox might be a little bit of downfall for this car but yeah we'll just have to wait and see. And of course I am driving this car exactly how I drove the M140 r yesterday like I'm, I'm driving in the same sedate manner I'm not like absolutely caning it through the gears I'm just it's driving it normally as you would if you were a normal person so Right, I think I've run out of things to say to you guys, so I'm probably going to sign out for now, and the next time I'll probably see you is when I'm at the fuel station, filling up, and we'll gather our results there, and hopefully we should have our verdict of whether which is more efficient, the M140i or the BMW 160. So, bye for now. Okay, so you join me in the petrol station to fill up the 116D, and as you can see, we're on 97.7 miles, as opposed to the 48.8 miles within the M140i. Uh, there's, a, there's a reason for that, and long story short, there was a huge mess up, and this video took me like two, three weeks to make because so many things went wrong, but basically, uh, I've doubled, I've done the trip twice, basically, so um, we should get the same results, but it just means I'll halve what we've done here, which should be 48.8 miles, so, yeah, let's fill up and see what happens and I'll explain later as to why I had to do the trip twice.
Okay guys, we just filled up and as you can see, it cost me £15.56 and it was 8.95 litres to fill up. Okay guys, you know, join me a bit later on. Um, so yeah, the 116D, I had a bit of a mishap with uh, filming. Uh, basically, like I said earlier in the video, I'll explain. Uh, I went to do the test in this car, which was brilliant. It was going swimmingly. Uh, and then I got back to the forecourt to then fill it up. And then when I did fill it up, it clicked immediately. Like literally, I don't think I even got a litre in it or not a lot of fuel in it at all. Um, and I, yeah, it basically messed up the video. Um, and this video took me like three weeks to film because of logistics and it was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so yeah, I think because this car is somewhat efficient, it didn't recognize that I really use much fuel. So it still thought maybe it had a full tank, which is why it clicked immediately. So what I've done is genius. So as you can see earlier on, I did 97.6 or seven miles, which is exactly double what I did in the M140i. So 48 .8 miles is roughly 97.6 miles. It, it was literally near enough the same. So yeah, I did the journey twice that way when I filled up the 116D, it would actually take fuel, um, which did evidently work. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. so when I do the calculations, it's not gonna make any difference. So as long as I halve what I did in the BMW 116D in terms of how many liters I used and how, many, how much distance I covered, then we should still get the same reliable results. It, it, I think I worked out the maths in my head but it should, it should still be just as reliable as if I was to do it normally anyway. So yeah, let's just find out what we got. And I think we're gonna start with, yeah, I think we should start with the BMW M140i because that's obviously the most attractive figure we're looking at today. So uh, let me go my telephone and I will find uh, how much I did in terms of miles per gallon. Okay, we've got our trusty uh, MPG calculator up, so let's figure out what we got. Uh, so we covered 48.8 miles, and the litre of fuel we used was 6.39. So if we press the calculator button, this is what we find out what the M140i did in terms of MPG. Oh, here we go. 34.72 miles per gallon. Whoa. I have to say, uh, I was expecting a little bit more, um, but I know these cars are incredibly efficient, efficient in terms of long journeys. Um, I've done long journeys in those, and you can expect anywhere between 40 to 45 miles per gallon on a long journey at 70 miles an hour cruise control. So yeah, this one, this was quite a, a short journey and did have some city and town driving. So I do think that's why we got 34.72 miles per gallon, but even so, that is incredible for the amount of performance it's got. That is quite something. But anyway, let's not, let's not waste any time. Um, let's find out what we got with the BMW 116D. Okay, so it's now time to find out what we did with the BMW 116D. Um, like I said earlier on in the video, I had to do the journey twice. That way I could get the car to brim and get my results. So yeah. So the distance we had to cover was exactly double what we did in the M140i, but it would still work out the same. So if we put in the miles, which was 97.7 miles, and then the litres of fuel we used was 8.95 litres. So if we calculate now, we're gonna find out how efficient my work wagon is compared to the M140i. So here we go. 49.63 miles per gallon is the result we got here. Wow, that is, that's all right. I'm okay with that. That is only though 15 miles per gallon better than the BMW 140i. And that has three times the power. It shouldn't be efficient, but it really isn't that bad. And if I just quickly um do it, uh, so yeah, if we halve that completely, so 48.8 miles and 4.8, 475 I think is the exact is is half of 8.95 liters so we calculate we should get the same results there we go it's near enough the same so yeah that that verifies that me doing the journey twice didn't hinder 
the Mars McGannon maths was correct. But yeah, 49.5-ish Mars per gallon in this BMW 116D, which I'm, I think it's, it's not that great, really. I I Because I, like all the traders say that these cars can get like 60 miles per gallon. But I really do think that this being a low-powered version of the 1 Series and the diesel engine, um, as opposed to like the full-fat 190 horsepower, really does hinder this car's miles per gallon. Even though they, they say that the 116D is polar bear friendly and they give it a £30 road tax compared to the 120D's, I don't know, 100 or £200 road tax. It's probably worse on fuel than a 120D. So, yeah. So, what have we learned today? So, we have learned that the most likely economical car <laughs> was the most economical. And the least likely uh, economical car was the least economical car uh yeah so may have wasted your time a little bit but at least we know what these cars are in terms of um fuel efficiency because they're not really that far apart if you really think about it so let me know what you guys thought of this video and what you thought of the mpg tests uh, i love it it was absolutely brilliant at the time of my life because i love fuel economy but the bnb on 40i what an engine blisteringly fast and the economy is really really good kind of negates really getting one of these if i'm honest um yeah so please do like and subscribe and leave any comments down below um 94 93 percent of my uh subscribe um viewers aren't subscribed so I'd much appreciate it if you do subscribe so I can get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And I'm, yeah, that'd be much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and bye for now.